Well, when I start talking about the game and I start talking about the bigger, better, or more badass, uh, those who've seen it really get the vision and they see that the game is large, they see that the controls are improved, they see the overall experience is improved, and they see that it is indeed badass. So there's more blood everywhere, there's more great weapon-specific execution moves, there's things like the meat shield, there's an expanded multiplayer mode, whereas there's so many different modes now and maps, and it really is the sum of its parts, and I think it's coming together to, to really be a, an 800-pound gorilla. Well, the level that we've shown so far, the assault level, is really just on a scale of 1 to 10 as far as things going on, it's like a 12, right? But that's not to say that the entire game is always at that pace. There's parts where things slow down a little bit or they're a little bit creepy. And uh, during those times, we have the chance to explore some of the narrative. And we, we still keep our cutscenes fairly brief, you know, two to four minutes max. And we also have characters that talk while they're walking along. We have other ways of telling the narrative with discoverables as far as scraps of paper that players find or PA systems in various levels. So we have all these uh, means with which to tell the, a, a richer story than the first. And so it's not just about stopping the threat of the Locust from sinking Jacinto. It's also about Dom's personal journey and what he winds up finding. Well, we never came out from the get-go and said that Gears was going to be a trilogy. We honestly want to take it on a game-by-game -game basis. You know, I have ideas for all sorts of games and any other potential things we could do in the Gears universe. Everybody in the, in the, the team and the company does. But it's really a matter of uh, playing it by ear, game by game. So Gears 2, if it comes out and it's incredibly well received, then we'll consider working on a third. But before that, we're just busy worrying about two. Uh, we will, there were a lot of questions that were in the first Gears of War that we will uh, provide answers in the sequel and we'll also uh, raise a few more questions. So players are going to see a lot about uh, Dom, they're going to see a lot about uh, where humans live in Jacinto, they're going to see the Locust home city, they're going to find out more about the Locust hierarchy. There's a lot of mysteries that we want to unravel for the players. We still have a lot of optimizations for the engine, but the engine is an ongoing uh, project for us that we continue to improve, not only for us, but with our partners who are licensees for Unreal Engine. And uh, the, some of the latest improvements have really show, shine through in the demonstration as far as uh, destroyable environments, more physics, uh, better character lighting models, uh, crowd systems and whatnot. And uh, I think everything's just uh, improving at, at, at a breakneck pace. And uh, for this generation, as far as Gears 2 shipping, we're uh, pretty much in optimization mode at this point. Well, in Gears 1, we had a very, very solid cover system, and uh, we improved it with the title update so that Roadie Run was a little bit better. We also improved upon it in Gears PC, and in Gears 2, we're going to continue to cycle on our cover system to make sure that we have, hands down, the best cover system in the industry. And we have so many tweaks, literally hundreds of little tweaks as far as at what angle do you enter cover, and when do you do a SWAT turn, and how, how do you enter cover when you're Roadie Running and things like that, that I can't even list all of them, but regardless, it's something that keeps me up at night, and we continue cycling on internal on a regular basis. It's, uh, the the a, a as an all move button has been expanded a bit as far as uh, players, uh, you know, for instance, when you do a SWAT turn, you can interrupt that by pressing an angle right into a roadie run, so you're not stuck SWAT turning. Uh, when you dive into cover, you can back off of the cover, and you don't necessarily have to commit to hitting the wall. You can stop it mid-slide. So there's a number of tweaks that we're continuing to iterate on with co the cover system. Players will be able to use the meat shield in multiplayer, so you will be able to knock your uh, buddy down who's on the opposite team and take him host hostage and uh, crack his neck or use him against his own buddies as a shield. Well, the first thing that happens when a player takes another player hostage in multiplayer is the body will decay as it takes damage. So the, the arms will start falling off, and after it takes a certain amount of damage, the player will have to drop it since it's not useful anymore. Or he could absorb like a boom shot shot with the body, at which point the body jibs in his arms, he's covered in blood, and he's like, ew, that was disgusting. The other thing that happens is when a player is goes down but not out in the opposite team, and he's crawling around, once he's grabbed and taken as a meat shield, the player is considered dead and he goes into the spawn queue. So you're essentially carrying around the husk of the guy and he could respawn and conceivably shoot his own body. But that's one thing we didn't want players carrying other players around forever.